Okay, so now we consider a sequence of zeros and ones of length n that do not have two consecutive ones. So for n equals 5, for example, well, I do see a sequence there, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. There's no consecutive ones there. Next one's 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. There's no consecutive ones there. That's a valid sequence, by the way. However, they go on to say that 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 is not valid because we have consecutive ones. All right? It says, let Sn denote the number of valid sequences of length n. Uh, what's S1 and S2? Again, it's low-hanging fruit. All right? So S1, you know, what could you get for S1? Well, S1 is going to produce, well, you could get 0. The other one you could get is 1. There's no consecutive ones there, so there's 2 there. All right? Now, if I do S2, what would you get there? Well, I could get 0, 0. I could get 0, 1. And I could get 1, 0. But I can't get 1, 1. So that means there's 3. All right. Now, I, I have strong suspicion that's related to the prior problem, by the way. And in fact, this really set up as one long question. All right. So I'm, I'm thinking it has something to do with this over here. But anyway, low-hanging fruit. We got it answered. All right. And it, there's 2 here and there's 3 there. So S1, you get 2. S2, you get three, all right? So and so on, we can keep doing that. I'll go to B next, thank you.